Hi, baby. God, your mouth is so stinky. Sophie, say hi. Say hi. Okay, I actually can't kiss you right now. Let go. Let go, okay? Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we have another makeup look. We are on this roll, this kick with the fall looks and I'm kind of into it. I don't consider myself a makeup artist. I just am a big lover of makeup and all things beauty. So I just love to play. I'm having fun while I do it. So that's all that matters. So today we have a very fun, fall soft glam look. I have no inspo for today. I'm hoping that you guys are liking these makeup tutorials. I'm having so much fun doing them and I just, it's really nice to always come back to YouTube and not that I've been gone, but it's just, it's nice to always have a place to come to where I can just zone out and feel like I'm talking to you guys, even though like I'm not, but whenever these videos go live or any of my videos go live, I get really excited because I just love being able to read the comments and get back to you guys. I really cherish it. So I don't know why I'm getting so emo, but I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you guys wanna see how I got this look, then just keep on watching. I've already prepped my skin. I need to start with my eyes. And I know that a lot of you probably already know that and you're like, Nicole, how do you not like know that by now it just takes some people a little while to like figure life out okay i'm going to use this kosas concealer to prime my eyes there are the eyes i'm going to set with some translucent powder and this is going to just help so that if you go in with a powder it doesn't like stick to the concealer okay so i have these this is from armani soft smoky eye makeup set. I got this off of Sephora here. Eye tint number 11 and 23. Look a little lighter on camera, but in person, they're a little bit richer in color. So this is the number 23. I'm just gonna apply this on my eyes. This color is so, I just saw this and I was like, oh, this looks fun for like a nice, literal soft smoky look. I like how easy these are to apply too. There's no harsh line with these. I like that these are very malleable that you can just sort of blend these in with your finger. Honestly, it feels like nothing just happened to my eyes. <laughs> this is number 11. This is supposed to be like a light champagne color. It's pretty. I don't feel like it's as smoky though. Maybe if I put it here and then just blend this in. I can see how this is like a soft and smoky for somebody that's like lighter than me. This is not really for like a tan skin tone. It's just more, I would just say it's like a neutral. I wouldn't say it's like a soft smoky. I'm gonna take this. I actually just got this one as well. This is the Woodwinked Eyeshadow. I'm gonna take a little bit on here. And I'm just gonna run this right on the lid. See how like the Armani shade sort of peeking through? It's a good base for sure. Blend. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Super Nudes Easy Eye Palette. Just doing the outer third basically. Ooh. It's like a nice little trick. Just take like a credit card or like a business card. It's like a stencil almost. You just focus on the outer third and I feel like that kind of gives you a really good smoky eye, like pretty quick. See? Obviously we're not gonna keep it like this because that would just be absurd. And then we're just gonna blend. And this is why we don't do our face makeup because if I had, I would have had to like redo my concealer and blah, 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 blah. I find that like if you get to a pretty decent spot with the eyeshadow where you're like, okay, it's blended, just continue on, do the rest of your face, then come back to it because sometimes I feel like it can be a little overkill. I mean, I get very like frustrated because this is not my strong suit, but this is why I'm trying to do more eyeshadowy looks because I'm trying to get better. I'm gonna use the Anastasia Brow Freeze to take this on 
a spoolie. I just have like a bag of spoolies in here because I go through mine and they get so dirty and disgusting and I like don't really wanna wash my spoolie brush all the time, you know? So I just was like, you know what, disposable it is and I don't wanna hear it. Let me know if you guys think this is a good idea. I should get a makeup artist to do my makeup because you guys are so used to me doing my makeup. I feel like you never get to see when people do my makeup, which either I'm like at work if that happens. I don't really pay people to do my makeup ever, but I think it might be a really cool video idea. So let me know what you guys think of that. Okay, so I'm gonna take the Shantakai Future Skin Foundation. This is like one of my favorites. It's a very fluid, super dewy, lightweight foundation. This is actually the foundation they use on Euphoria because they don't want it to look like skin um, on sets or, or on camera. So I love this stuff. I think it's so good. And then I'm just going to stipple this right onto the front of my face, or not the front of my face. I'm gonna take the product and just focus it on the middle and then kind of work up and out. Take a beauty blender and then just start stippling this on. This is my contour wand. Literally, I don't even know if it has anything in it at this point. I'm going to do See, there's like not anything in here. And you really don't need a lot. I fully know that this is gonna be way too much. Anyway, this is the contour wand from Charlotte Tilbury. Because mine's like almost done, I just got a new one and I've been waiting for this product to go back in stock. Where did I go on? It was on Nordstrom and I was like, wait, what? This is in stock? So I obviously had to pick it up. Also like, what is this brush? I just grabbed this, I don't even know what it is. It's the Sigma setting powder. Ooh, it's very good. So like I have these, I was like, why does my face look like that? It's cause I have a dot on my nose. Um, also I have these like veins. Do you guys see this? Vein and vein. It's giving aging. <laughs> I'm gonna mix these two actually. It's 6.5 and six. If you guys have not, picked up this concealer. This is, I'm telling you right now, like the, you need to get this concealer. And if they don't have your shade at Sephora, you can sign up to get notified whenever things come back in stock. And you'd be surprised how quickly certain things come back in stock. So just, you know, and plus the, this concealer is so popular. I feel like I always see it back in stock and then out of stock again. Um, and also cause the holiday savings event just happened, things, might be out of stock. Um, you know who though I need, I have a bone to pick with about getting things back in stock is Makeup by Mario. They need to like bust their butt and get those like lip liners back in stock because there's a lip liner I've been wanting to try and they've been sold out in store and online. Like every single time I'm near a Sephora, I just like pop in just to see and they never have it in stock. And I'm like, what the fudge? Hollywood Flawless Filter, mine's in number five. I'm just gonna take a little bit. because so I feel like my skin's not as like dewy as I would like it to be. Next up, we are going to set with some powder. If you have not used the puff yet, this is game changer, I'm telling you. The shape of it, it really helps you pinch that nose in. It has like a straight line, so you can really kind of bring it out. And the shape is amazing, but also I don't know, this material creates like a very porcelain-like look. It's amazing. So I'll just show you guys. If you guys have not tried this, like just go buy it. It's amazing. And they come with like a big pack, so like share it, the love with your family or your sister, or your mom but see how that just like oh my gosh it looks so good like, i love this it's my favorite i used to hate powders but now i love it i can't live without it i think it's just like what really can make your make or break your makeup is like the powder you use and also like the technique i think it's kind of important so then i'll just use a little bit and Tab there, 
here and then my smile lines. Okay, next we're gonna use a blush. I have this blush, it's brand new, it's from Chanel. It's the 260 Alizan. Let's test it together. I hope this has no product on it. Oh my God, it smells like, oh, it smells so good. It's a pretty shade. It's very soft and light. I thought it was gonna be much like more intense, but maybe this feels weird. You know why? It's because I'm not even, I usually use like some kind of cream and I didn't. Okay, I'm like really getting in there with this and I feel like I'm not, it's the brush. No, it's not the brush, it's the product. This would be really pretty like on the eyes too. Maybe we'll go in in a little bit with that, but I just wanna do the rest of my fotch. I'm gonna take the Patrick Ta dark brown brow pencil and to be honest, I'm not really that picky about brow pencils. They just have to like show up, you know? And they need to have a little bit more, I'm like, I'm not that picky and I'm like, they just need to show up and they need to be a little bit more waxier than creamy. And the Patrick Ta one does a really good job. This one's a little, not one that I will use like all over my brows cause it's very dark. I don't know if you guys can see. I usually go for something that's like less dark, but I like that you can see the hair strokes when I make them. See how they just did that? That's all I'm doing. I think the key with brows is not to fill them in all the way. Like if you see a little bit of a sparse area, don't feel the need to just like fill it in because it's very rare that you see like a very full, like no gaps brow. I feel like if there's a little bit of like imperfection with the brows, it's not a bad thing, you know? It makes you look more realistic and more natural. So that's my take on it. We're gonna go in with Costa Riche. So excited to use this. Put this right on the lash line just to enhance. And then I'm gonna blend it out with a angled brush. Because we made that line, that's basically like, we don't go past that because that would just look actually insane. So just sort of stay in the lines, color in the lines. As I say to my daughter, I'm gonna put this in my waterline. Just gonna do it. Can't think too much about it, otherwise I'm gonna back out. I think I'm gonna use Warm Soul from MAC. Good old MAC. Look at them, just like coming through with the makeup. My favorite bronzer, Get Me Sun, also from MAC. And I'm gonna warm Skin up, that's, I think maybe that's what it is. I feel like when I don't use this product, my skin just seems a little too cool tone or like almost a little ashy. So I always like to bring Gimme Sun in because I feel like this is just a really nice warm, some would say orange, but I don't think it's orange. Caramelly warmth to the skin and I love it, so. But should I put the Chanel blush in my Crease a little, just a little. I don't know what it is, but I'm telling you, like looks just don't, they're not complete unless you add the color you're using on your face in the eyes. I said what I said, it's so true. I don't know the voodoo. I think it just maybe balances it out a little bit more. I don't know, but it just, I'm telling you, there's something about it. Taking my setting powder and just going right underneath. And this really helps with more smoothing. Also helps with like the very porcelain looking base, you know? Take my freck. You wanna do this before you set your makeup. You wanna be able to diffuse them out. Cause that's what really makes it look like freckles. My Ilia to start. Armani mascara. 
focus this on the outer corners just to volumize. I'm like not vibing with and I can't figure it out. I'm just taking She's So LA. This is kind of like my, in case of emergency blush, like it always just goes with things and you see what I mean? How it kind of, and this one I like to use, it's the Magic Luminizer from RMS. And it always just looks amazing, like for the nose. See what I mean? So pretty, right? Um, I'm gonna take wherever, or sorry, anywhere caffeine. Okay, should we use this? This is called Trace. It's the hourglass, I don't know, these things. They're like glossy. All. Oh my God. How have I not used these before? These have just been sitting around. Hello lips. All right, all right, let's wrap this up. We gotta go. I'm gonna take my airbrush flawless finish. All right, so that completes today's look. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm having so much fun creating like these fall smoky looks. I think it's a nice fun transition from just doing my regular same looks that you guys have seen me do like a thousand times. So this is a lot of fun. Let me know if there are any other videos you'd like to see from me here on my channel. And yeah, I'm gonna have everything listed down below for you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.